Yo, what is going on everybody? We are back again tonight. Hope everybody is doing well. I'm doing pretty well. We're gonna we're back again with some Mass Effect 3. I skipped last night because I was playing a little Division 2 with a good friend of mine. Uh, so I did not play Mass Effect 3 last night or stream. Um, but tonight we are right back with it. And last time we resolved the Genophage um, issues. And by resolve, I mean we did absolutely nothing to the genophage. We just left it like it was. <clears throat> Excuse me. But the most important thing, and kind of the whole reason why I even did um, this last um, your run through of the trilogy, other than just because it's Mass Effect and it's my favorite franchise of all time and it's a lot of fun, um, is I wanted to save Morden for the very first time, and we did that, and that was awesome. So... <clears throat> Here in just a couple minutes, we are going to go and we are going to take care of the Genophage, not Genophage, the, uh, the Cerberus crew on the Citadel. But first, I think we need to do a couple little things exploring the galaxy. So we're going to do those little things real fast. Shouldn't take just a couple minutes. We're going to do that really fast. I'm trying to think where it was at. Let me look at my, uh, nope, nope. Let me look at my journal real fast, just in case. Um... Still have this. We have this still, and I hope Dominic Asoba is still there for me to turn this into. I'm gonna feel really bad if he's not. Uh, heating stabilizers. I think we got that. Pretty sure we did. Uh, doo -doo -doo. See, still server ciphers. We did do that. N7 extraction. So that's we gotta go back to Earth. And then something in Beckenstein. All right, so let's do those real fast. Should be pretty quick. Now, I did not go back to the Citadel before I did the Genophage, and I have a feeling I might regret that. We'll see. Um, but first, let's go to Earth, and that is Local Cluster. Yep. So let's go and do that. And I believe it was like right here. Do we get to do anything here? Enter orbit. Is there anything we get to do? Okay, I'm not really sure. Whoa, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, 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 fuck. I'm not going to make it. Woo. Wow. That was uh, not at all what I expected, but all right. All right. So why? Hmm. All right. I guess I couldn't do that. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Let me exit here. Because it said in my journal. Yeah, assignment back in, uh, in some extractions. Return to Earth and extract special forces tr unit. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to do that. All right, I'll figure it out. All right, but let's go ahead and go to back in science. It's right here. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. All right, and yeah, Becca signs over here. So let's head over there, see what all the fuss is about. All right, and yep, there's Becca sign, and we get scanned. Very good. All right, and up here, there we go. All right. All right, back in the negotiation. The negotiation is not going well. The colonial politicians are telling the fearful public that they will not make Beckenstein a target for the Reapers. And given their proximity to the Citadel, they are less reliant on Alliance security. They finally agree to turning some industry towards some of industry towards arms if the Alliance helps them hide the fact from the public. Udina's negotiating team suggests that you can tr either try again to persuade them that the Reapers will eventually come to Beckenstein or agree their terms and hide Beckenstein's support for the public. Uh, yeah, we're all kind of all this together, but no, 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 no. We're playing Renegade Run. We're doing Renegade. So, since we're doing Renegade, Renegade Shepard would agree to hide it. Um, Beckenstein will get you the politicians seem pleased with the outcome. However, one drops hints that they will be willing to offer military support as well if an offer was made attractive to them. Advise, Udina's advisors tell you that Beckenstein politicians are notoriously corrupt 
and that was a rather transparent attempt to extract a bribe. Threatening them with exposure is unlikely to work as it could undermine the whole deal. That being said, you can threaten to expose them or you can pay the bribe. Again, Renegade Shepard. <clears throat> so Dick Shepard is going to bribe them. All right, successful negotiation. Got the Renegade. Bankstein Colonial Guard. Very good, very good. Industrial support, I like that as well. And Alliance of Regulars. Very good indeed. All right. So let's continue back over this way. Ooh, what am I missing over here? All right. So I'm missing 50%. So I only have 50%, so that means I should be able to scan something. That's just a battle group, no big deal. All right, out we go. Refugee fleet. Am I supposed to be able to do anything in here? All right, let's see what we got here. All uh, right. Refugee support. All right, cool. Human refugee fleet. Although I thought I went there at some point in time, but I'll take that. Sure. All right. Let's go back here. All right. I'm going to try to go to Earth one more time, although those Reapers were fast going in there. <clears throat> yeah, I know, I know. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. I'm gonna die. Yep. That's alright. It saves as I go in there. So that's fine. I wasn't that worried about that. I'm gonna try going there one more time. And no, nothing there. Just nothing there. Yep, I died. That's alright. Okay, I guess. Well, shit. So why can I not do anything to Earth? The damn thing says, go to Earth. Alright, so I'm going to have to figure this out. Faster than light jumps Alright, we're just going to go right here. Alright, out of there. Alright. And where was the uh, that dealer dude? I don't remember where that dealer was. Oops. All right, let's just come over here. Where was that dealer guy? Uh, Rosetta Nebula. Okay. So when you go to Rosetta Nebula, I think I got like several Prothean devices. So see if he has anything I want to buy. Rosetta, Rosetta, Rosanna, Rosanna, oh, wrong song, Rosetta, Rosetta, oh, that one, there it is, right, and does it seem to be here, I don't remember which system he is in, So we're just going to keep trying. Yep, there he is. Dealership, very good. Do I wish to trade with the dealer? Indeed I do. Uh, view available. Hmm. Krogan incubation technology. So it seems like these are just, hmm. Not sure what I can do with these. I mean, this one I, I hmm. Change artifacts for access to inventory. Oh, these are different ones. Okay. But I already did these. All right, fine. I'll do, hmm. Krogan Incubation Technology, just because I'm really not sure what I'm doing here. I should just do all of them. Fuck it. Alright. 
All right, so we got journal. Does it tell us where we need to go for these? Threshold model nest. It's not really telling us where to go. Huh. It's all very interesting stuff. Okay, well, let's see if there's anything that lights up on the, on the galaxy map. Onward we go. All right, let's get some gas first. Gas is always important. All right, anything light up in any of that? Okay, so nothing lit up at all. So all right, so it's nothing. Whoa, hello there. That went to 66. Why did that go to 66? Nope. Hold on. So there's more here. But I'm going to have to wait until after I do a mission or go somewhere. And really, the only place I can go is the Citadel, I think, isn't it? There's like no other hub places I can go or anything like that. All right. Well, let's do, uh, let's take care of the coup. That's what we're here for. Here we go. All right, let's dock. Actually, let's do this first. I'm curious about something. See if it'll let me do this. Yep, yep, so I thought. Alliance Control, this is SSV Normandy. Are we clear to descend? Alliance Control, this is Normandy. We're headed to Bay 1-4, Zakara Ward. Are we clear to descend? No. Uh -oh. What the hell's going on down there? Even if there were a station malfunction, they'd have backups online. I got a bad feeling here. Yeah, Check shit's going down. Channels. Hey, yeah, this is Joker. It's Thane. Uh -huh. Yeah, no kidding. Commander, there's a communication from Thane. He says it's important. I think you'll want to hear this. Put him through. Shepard, the Citadel is under attack. Cerberus troops are everywhere and they're in control of the docks. Are you safe? No. I had to evade their command <coughs> to the hospital. I'm in a Presidium storefront. Did Ashley make it out? We got separated. She said she had to protect the Council. I'm going to CSEC headquarters. Let's go get them. Why CSEC headquarters? It's been compromised, and CSEC's response depends on it. As long as Cerberus is holding the headquarters, they have the station. All right. Joker, get us away from the docks and close to CSEC HQ. We'll deploy in the shuttle. Aye, aye, Commander. All right. So we have been doing really well just having Garrus and Liara. That's been working out really well. So we're going to keep that going. And against Cerberus, it's just been hilarious. All right, so we've got that bad boy. That's been working fine. Yep, that's good. Yep, everybody just yep, stick to what they got. Let's do it. Let's keep going. All right, you got three. Can't do anything there. Can't do anything there. All right, fine. Let's go. Ooh, those textures could be a little bit better. How many damn people does servers have? Damn. Yeah, there's lots of shooting going on here. Yeah, it's coming in hot. Let's go do it. It's Bailey. He got shot. Okay, people, coming in hot. Get to cover. On it. All right, first we gotta take this guy because we do not want any 
Up you go, and down you go. Oh, that didn't work. There we go. All right, Garrus, I need you to take that for me, please. Liara and me. Um, oh, okay, that time we got it. Up you go. All right, let's come up here. Good job. All right, up you go. And off you go. All right. You got that, and you got that. Oh, man, Liara's got her singularity just always, and it is amazing. All right, if only I could get Garrus to have his stuff free a little bit quicker. Well, up you go. Hey, I said up. Well, that didn't work very well. All right, lift him up, please. Yep, and he's dead. Very good. All right. Now, Bailey, we'll get to you in a minute. Oh, wait. Nope. We still got more dudes over here. All right. That's fine. Up you go. And continuing on. Good job, guys. Anybody left? I don't think so. Okay. Bailey's calling for me, so I think they're all clear. Gotta loot everything first. I'm pretty sure there's a couple of things here. So Bailey, you're just gonna have to like stop the bleeding. Don't bleed out or nothing. I'll be with you in a minute. We got it covered. Yeah, I know, Bailey. Hold on. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. we had at least one or two things here just that was laying around like some armor or something hmm. I thought for sure oh thank you I'll take that that's fine yeah you, you take care of him you got you got him Liara. you're fine he's fine no problem All right. Hey, Bailey, what's up? Shepard, I saw those Cerberus troops on you. I thought you were done for. Oh, you haven't met Dick hey, Shepard, have you? What are you doing here? Getting my ass shot off trying to retake headquarters. Cerberus took it in the first push. We got to kick them out of there. Everyone in C-Sec's flying blind without the network. How bad's the situation? Do you know if the counselors are alive? They split up. I'll know more if I can access the terminal inside. Can you get us in? I'll get the door. If no you do one that. interrupts me with a bullet this time. Oh, careful. I might have one for you. <clears throat> yeah. Right. Let's get this going, guys. Come on. Here we go. CSET network access. Courtesy of Cerberus. How's that gonna help? Cerberus has control of the main channels, but I can set up a new one. Without it, our people have no plan and no chance. Hello. Hello indeed. What do you got? A warning from Counselor Ashiel. She's supposed to be here meeting with the executor. This move may provoke retaliation. Well, that's an understatement. If she's inside, she's in trouble. Why, right, why are they meeting now? Meeting with the executor. Usually it means someone big's about to be prosecuted. I guess that someone had Cerberus friends. Yeah, Udina. The counselor mentioned Udina. But that's insane. Does he even have this kind of pull? Well, you know who'd have the answer to that? The counselor. The counselor's in there, surrounded by Cerberus? Who put together that security? <coughs> well, until an hour ago, this place was as safe as it got. Nobody expected something on this scale. We need to find the counselor and get her out of here. She has got to know more about who's behind this. All right, we'll take care the of it. The counselor could be in the executor's office. It's a fairly defensible position. I'm on it. Just a Let's second. Let's kill some dudes. There. Now we can talk by Omnitool. Go. 
All right, let's take care of everything. Make sure we get all the loot. Did you hear all that? Yes. I'm nearing the building, but running is difficult. I'll try to get to you. No, don't run, dude. You're fine. I don't think anything's over here. Nope. All right, good. All right. I see you guys. I got something for you. Yep. Up you go. Gara, let's take care of him for you, please. Thank you. Up you go. Awesome. All right. Now, you guys need to get your warp and your different ammos on, and I'll get mine on, and it'll be great. Oh, hello there. Yeah, we are. Take care of that guy for me, will you please? Thank you. Alright, you take care of him. Got that covered. Awesome. Looks like we got a couple more. Hello, my friend. Oh, no, no, no. Get there. There we go. That time I got him. Did he even count presents for us? Uh, we've got dudes up there, no problem. Hello there. We're gonna take that one. And up you go. Up you go. Oh, sorry about your luck there. Oh, and another one. <laughs> they just don't stand a chance, do they? <laughs> All right, should have some loot here. Very good. Oh, level up. I like it. Terminal examine. Encrypted emergency message from Commander Bailey to fire two officers. Service attack in progress. All hands on deck. Don't think it made it, my friend. Hello there. Entry wounds in the back of the head. Looks like a surprise, not an execution. Uh oh. We've got hardcore traders here. Same as Mars. Cerberus sure like sleeper agents. They seem to, don't they? Oh, I can't get over there. Okay, that's fine. Thought I saw him going like, how'd you get over there if I couldn't? All right, let's see what else we got here. Anything I can pick up. I know there's a revenant in here somewhere. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now nah, we got it covered. Open it up. It's Dick Shepard here. They got no chance. All right, game save. Oh, well, thank you. Up you go, Garrus. Let's take care of that, please. Thank you. Up you go. Okay, why aren't we going up? What the, ah, that's it, right there. All right, nope, Garrus, watch out. Ah, right, we'll take care of that since you're about to have trouble there. And, oh, Garrus. There we go. And up you go. Alright. Take care of him, please. And up you go. Kaboom. Very good. Okay, Liara. Liara. Let's warp. And we'll do that one. It's going to be fine. There we go. Sometimes bullets are not the answer, my dear. But quite often they are. Uh, we got here. Which way? So okay. So once we go that way, so I go a different way. All right. Into the bathroom we go. Yep. There is revenant. Nope. We do not want that because it's not that good. Cerberus didn't even drag him out into the hall. Hmm. Poor dudes. Okay. Man. Hmm. You know, there needs to be a little bit more privacy in these restrooms. And in the showers. Alright. Let's see what we got. On where we go. Yep, I'll take that. Thank you. Free XP is always a good thing. Up you go. Kaboom. Excellent. Good job, guys. Uh, what do we have in here? 
ammo. I'm not even hardly using ammo. I'm just using singularity and slam. This is great. Alright, on over we go. Any survivors in there? None yet. Damn it. Keep looking. Oh, I'm not gonna be service survivors by the time we're done, that's for sure. <clears throat> this is quite a gruesome display here. Richview! Lamont! You alive? Could you perhaps not alert everyone? Uh, if gunfire doesn't put yeah, exactly. Don't think we're gonna have a problem there. All right, there we go. Personal log: Armando Owen Bailey, entry one. Warn Herc if that doesn't fill out his reports properly. I'm kicking his ass from one end of the Citadel to another. Entry two: Reschedule a meeting with customs analysts about cargo weight discrepancies over the last year. Don't let him wriggle out of it again. Damn it. Reports of undesirables going on a station illegally. Have biometric system calibrate again. Kick Herc's sorry ass from one end of the citadel to another. He does not like this Herc guy. <clears throat> Something tells me there's probably a good reason for it. And what's over here? Door use. No, we're not going that way yet. I think this unlocked the door, that computer right there. This one over here. If I remember correctly, yes indeed. Ah, we got the Talon, very good. And from Sergeant Uri Uriel Shaw to Captain Iano Mao. I brought up number 177504 from evidence so you can see for yourself. We got a slag who was assembling it in one of in one of Tower 110's bathrooms. He got it past the detectors and pieces, metal barrel in a hollowed out Omni tool Ezo in one of those scission, scission toothbrushes. <laughs> the rest was plastic or ceramic, no gang ink on him. He was in a sport coat like most of the male employees of Tower 1110. His ID was manufactured. He's got a record that dates back to when he his med card was issued, and before that, nothing. This is way beyond coincidence. This is a pro assassin, and he's not alone. We've got people smuggling talents all over the station. Patrol knows it, organized crime knows it, everybody knows it, but when you try to talk to the mayor or to the major, you hit a steel wall. So major's in on it. Where's internal affairs when you need them? Why can't we get them to open an investigation on customs? You would not get away with this blind eye business if this were LA or Hong Kong. The major says he's not going to screw over good police because one nut with a pistol. But it isn't just one. Ask you get ask the executor this. If this is the stuff we're catching, what's slipping by? Good point. <clears throat> Excuse me. Talon is a good pistol, if I remember correctly. All right, now let's continue on. All right, so far, not really getting much of a. Oh, hello. Oh, are you sure we had to do that? Okay, that's all your dialogue. Well, guess what? Up you go! Kaboom! Times two! Very good. Just executing this dude. Alright. We've got to be close now. Alright, yeah, we're going this side. Executor's office is right above it. Let's hope we're not too late. Yeah, this is the best cover spot right here, so... Oh, there they are. Hey, that is not nice. Right. Oh, okay, that's just not okay. Alright, we'll take that guy. And then, Gary, you take this guy. Why are we not... What, what the hell? Alright, let's get back over here so we can actually see what's going on. Alright, here we go. And kaboom? I don't think so. Good job, Garrus. Hello. Up you go. And boom. <laughs> that never ceases to get old. I love Slam and Mass Effect 2, and I just love it even more 
in this. Oh, hold on, let me check my stream real fast, make sure everything's going good. I dropped a few frames a little bit ago, but nothing major. All right, so let's continue on. Oh, there we go. Let's make sure we're getting all the stuffs before we move along. There's nothing down there. Now, I believe technically the counselor's like under one of these tables or something. But we're not supposed to know that yet. And I'm trying to see, where's that at? Is it here or is it right here? I can't remember if you could actually see him. I don't think you can. Or her. Alright, no big deal. Cutscene incoming. Shepard, you couldn't do that? You had to wait for Liara to bang on the door? Bailey, looks like they got the executor and two Solarian bodyguards. Damn. All right, keep searching. <coughs> if you don't see the counselor's body, don't count her out yet. Yep, there she is. Found her. She looks unharmed. Get her somewhere safe. Uh oh, it's Toolbag Lang. Don't even think about it. Shepard, he's going to kill us all. That remains to be seen. I mean Udina. He's staging a coup. The other counselors are headed for a trap. Three on one, pal. It's over. No. No, it's fun. Don't think so. Go thing. This is a badass cutscene. And a very sad scene. I'll try not to cry. <laughs> Thane. How bad is it? I have time. Catch him. Shepard, what's going on up there? Thane needs medical help fast, and I need to take care of an assassin. He must be going after the rest of the council. Get the word out. Odina's trying to seize power. I've got to get to the counselors. They're being taken to a shuttle pad on the Presidium. Start driving. I'll try to raise them on the comm. All right, this is gonna get fun. I, this is one of my one of the funnest missions in the game. Level design is really good. The action sequences are great. Cutscenes are great. It's just a ton of fun. Even that soldier, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Although I feel like I'm kind of cheating because I'm using biotic powers to do most of the work here. I mean, hell, I could almost do a no guns run the way I'm running this. We're gonna crash! Oh, 
Hey, I wouldn't put your arm out there like that, Liara. You're gonna break your arm. All right, everyone okay? Let's go get them. Shepard, my instruments say your car stopped. I'm yeah, it got kind of uh, fucked up. Negative, their guards are dead. But we've still got vital signs on the council's transponders. Where are they going? Come on. Oh, these guys. All right. And boom. Ouch. Ouch. That was no fair. All right. Up you go. There we go. All right. Get him up, please. Liara. Excellent. All right, let's see if there's anything up here. I can't remember if there's anything up here. <clears throat> Excuse me. What, what is that? Oh, it's a nemesis. All right, I'll take care of the nemesis. Hello, I see you. <laughs> up you go and down. I think there's going to be another one over here somewhere. Where's that? Yep, it's right over there. Where's that? Oh, you got him. Good job, guys. All right. Uh, yep, I see you. All right, where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? No, nope, not worried about that. Oh, we got a couple of nemesis. Nemesis. They don't like to hold still, do they? Okay, that one I'm not going to like. All right, you need to go up. All right. Come on, Phantom, come get some. Boom, boom. All right, she come around. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Down you go. Ah, shit. All right, this is going to get bad. There you go. Good job. Off you go. Better luck next time. All right. Knock him off his feet, please. There you go. Well done. All right. I see you. Poke on out. Come on. You can do it. Sorry, I don't tell. All right, Leo. Right, get him out, please. Thank you. All right. Uh, Nimisai are really causing trouble, aren't they? Hello! Shields, please, Garrus. Hey, Gorbash, what's going on, buddy? How are you doing? Up you go. Again, thank you. Alright, we are. You should have. Yeah, you should have Warp About ready. Yep, you certainly do. Take care of that, please. And up you go. And boom. <laughs> I love biotic detonations in this game. All right. Don't think there's anything else. Let's do a quick save just to be safe. Found out the Ozzy dropped an album last year, and that really holds up to the Ozzy. You know what? Ozzy did a collaboration with Post Malone and Travis Scott that I really, really like. You know, I really, really like that song. So I was really happy to see that Ozzy um, is doing something one last time, because I don't know if you know this, but Ozzy has, uh, I think he has Parkinson's, if I remember correctly. I honestly don't think he has a whole lot of time left. All right, moving right along. They sealed it behind them. That's all right. We'll be fine. Anything I can get? Nope. All right. That's fine. Nope. We're going this way. All right. I got it. Oh, you remember all those surprises last night? Yeah. I mean, he's kind of like Keith Richards. He, he's lived for a long time. And he's just done a lot of bad stuff to his body. 
You know, but he's he's given the world a lot of great things. No question about that. All right. Anything new? Hey, Halo. I'll take some credits. Thank you. I'll always take some credits. I think we got a heavy mech coming up this way. Yeah, and we do. Hello there. How are you? Gonna warp this bad boy. I'm at Calmar Plaza. Yeah, an elevator. They're trying to get to the shuttle dock. Someone's following them. Someone with a sword. Ow! Great. How much damage did I do? Surely I did some damage. Alright, what are you guys going after? Oh, that guy. Alright, well, let's do... There you go. Up you go. And down again. How are we doing on damage on this guy? Okay, it's hard to know how much more damage I got to do. Alright, just do that and that. Oh, nice. Good job, guys. What I'm doing, Mike? Um, I'm using a lapel mic right now. Um, I used it, you know, I used it kind of a cheap lapel mic one night because having trouble with my uh, my mixer and my condenser mic, and I liked it so much, and you know, the freedom that it gave me, so I bought a um, a really good quality lapel mic, and so far it's been working great. You know, but I've still got the condenser mic. <clears throat> you know, this kind of just kind of gives me a little more freedom. There's no mic in the middle of the frame for the webcam and all that good stuff, so. And so far, the videos that I've edited, the, vid the audio sounds pretty good. I'm, I'm, I might still need to do a little bit of tweaking with the audio. I'm using uh, one of the audio filters, the noise suppression audio filters in uh, Streamlabs. I mean, it's doing pretty good. I haven't had any complaints thus far. Up we go! Up you go! <laughs> How about for you? Liara's got a crazy recharge time with the way that I've got her spec'd out. It is insane. Alright, anything here? Nope. Man, I'm hardly using my gun at all. Alright, let's see if anything's up here. Cannot remember. Oh, that's where I'm going to go. So let me check around here first. Yep. I need to check first, make sure I'm not missing something. The counselors will be fine. It is all good. Alright. Cutscene, of course. Let's go, guys. Okay, I'm in the shaft. Hang on, this will be a fast <laughs> Shaft. Tell me that assassin hasn't reached the council. He's trying, but I'm making his elevator stop <laughs> on every floor. Well done, Kylang. Bailey. Yep, got the bastard Kylang. I found our friend. Kill his elevator. Trying. Bye, my elevator. Good ready. Yeah, don't get your hopes up. Incoming phantoms. Where? Oh, well done, guys. Um, Garris, take care of the their thing there. Alright. Whoop her ass. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, up you guys go. Lift you go. We are take care of that, please. Up you go. Very good. Shepherd, that Come on. Is, is there any other kind? <laughs> He's overridden my controls. He's on his way up. I can't stop him. 
It's all right, we got it. Here they come. Where? Which side? <laughs> oh, they just didn't make it. Shepard, jump. Oh, we're jumping. All right, let's go. Did you feel that? Gunman, get down. <laughs> Don't make me kill Ashley, please. I don't want to lose the content. I'll break up with her. Damn it. Cerberus hit the shuttle. Everybody back to the elevator. Shepard? Shepard's blocking our escape. He's with Cerberus. Nope. Udina, that would be you, my friend. Shepard. Guns. Down. All right. Um, I honestly don't remember if this means I got to kill her if I say step aside now. So I'm going to say trust me. I've come for Adina. You don't have to get involved. Yes, I do. I'm all that's left. No, we'll we want to live because I want I want content later. You've been fooled, all of you. Odina's behind this attack. The Salarian Counselor confirmed it. Please, you have no proof. You never do. There are Cerberus soldiers in the elevator shaft behind us. If you open that door, they'll kill you all. What Shepard says is possible. Unlikely, but possible. We don't have time to debate this. We're dead if we stay out here. Well, you're about to be Over dead no matter right. what. Just stand down, Shepard. I don't want to do this, but I will. Hey, red text for the win. I'll take care of that. You find a big shot human to defend and suddenly you have teeth. Is that it? Don't make me do this, Ash. I will shoot you to stop the Reapers. Even you. Maybe it's not time to give up on you yet. <laughs> You're right, Skipper. Udina, step back from the console. To hell with this. Since when does grabbing his wrist, what does that go do any no. good? Shoot him! There's no way I'm letting Ashley shoot him. No way in hell. <laughs> Get the council back and cover that door. The door! Bailey? Made it as fast as we could, Shepard. Looks like you uh, took care of things. Then hell yeah, we did. We were in danger. But I don't understand. You said Cerberus was right here. Cerberus was right here, but they beat feet into the Keeper Tunnels when they figured out we were coming. Sorry, Counselor, I'll say it plain. Shepard just saved the lot of you. And I owe you, Shepard, for our lives and for brokering a deal with the Primarch and the Krogan that I never could. You're welcome. It's about time. <laughs> Too bad it took this to get you on board. We will not make that same mistake again. Yeah, don't be like the other counselors that I let die. Any idea why Cerberus would do this? Honestly, no. But I plan to find out. All right, people. Principals are evacuated. We got a tunnel and a million more places to secure. Move it. Bastard. <laughs> Things didn't go as planned. The Council's still in control of the Citadel, and Udina's dead. Udina was expendable. No, not. <clears throat> there are other plans in motion. I'll fill you in when you return. I'm surprised you let Shepard get the better of you, Ling. Because you're a dickbag, and I'm better than you are. Mm -hmm. We'll see. All right, on to Act Two. Excuse me. We looked over every centimeter of those tunnels, Shepard. Your Cerberus pal is made out of smoke and mirrors. Yeah, people don't just vanish. These are tunnels, right? Just one exit and one entrance. 
No, that keeper tunnel from the elevator lobby led into the superstructure. Once you're in there, the place is like an ant farm. We can't even get an ID on him. He released a VI into the... Loose man already knows you can't kill Dick Shepard. He can only die trying. Exactly. I guess he didn't trust that Udina's plan would come together. That reminds me, we got your friend Thane into work to Memorial. He's in for surgery. Apparently, uh, there's complications. What kind of complications? I caught that they didn't have much drug blood on the Citadel. I notified his next of kin, his son, Koliath. He was the right blood type, but I don't know if he made it in time. We're pretty sure the route to the hospital is safe from Cerberus. If you want to see him, uh, I'd go now. Ah, there's time. There's we'll a be lot fine. to do. The doctors can let me know if he gets worse. If you want my opinion, he will. But in truth, we're going to go see him pretty quick. I'm just looking for some renegade points. All right, where am I looking on renegade points? Yeah, I'm looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. All right, got a little, uh, got to level up. Hmm. Don't want to get frag grenade or incendiary ammo. I think I'm going to go with incendiary ammo. I don't really use grenades that much. All right, increase capacity by 30%. Increase headshot damage. I'm not doing using guns a whole lot, so I'm going to go with ammo. All right. Keep going. All right, let's walk back here. See what's opened up. Nothing there, nothing there. That's fine. Anything here that I might have missed? Ooh, I missed several things, apparently. All right, go ahead and just buy them. And recharge speed, definitely want those. Thermal scope, yep. Ultralight materials, yep. Ultra materials, absolutely. More ultralight, absolutely. Don't give a shit about these guys. <clears throat> Alright. Moving right along. Alright. Let's go this way. Yep, I know I had something for him. Cerberus has changed their ciphers, and our code breakers aren't getting anywhere. I've got our best teams working in shifts on it. But ensuring Citadel Systems integrity is just gonna take time. How about this? Intel, right? I found these encryption codes on a Cerberus engineer. I thought they might be helpful. Cerberus ciphers. Yeah, we're good. What we've been looking for. You're welcome. Alright. Onward we keep going. Now all the little stories, like the little dialogues where you hear throughout the Citadel, there's there we're gonna have new ones now. And some old ones just went away. My wife was just sent back to active duty and I Like this one, that's really sad. I was told you might be able to help me. Of course. You're a Neotis spouse, correct? I yes. How did you know that? We keep identity information on all permanent Citadel residents engaged in formal relationships with Asari. Alrighty then. That's kind of creepy, but alright. We can ensure prompt assistance. It's wonderful. Then you can help me send my daughter back to my wife's family. I'm afraid, however, that might be a bit difficult. Yeah, trust me. You do not want to send her back to Thessia. I promise. Ooh, that line got a bit longer. Ah! Uh, the Admiral's not there anymore. Damn it. Alright. That's irritating. So I can't turn in the thing for a Soba, because... He's gone. I should have come back before I took care of the genophage. That's all right. I screwed that up. No big deal, though. The dude will forever just be in limbo, wondering what happened to his kid. All right. To the hospital. Now, I'm actually playing this at 4K. It's doing pretty well at 4K. I was surprised how well it's doing. Hey, girls. Hello. And the Reapers. They did to her what they do to everyone. She's covered. I don't know. Chloe. She reaches out. Her eyes go black. Then she touches one of the farmers, and he just... 
They panic. She rips them apart. Sometimes touching, sometimes opening them up with biotics. The humans are turning into liquid. And I'm there. Yeah, PTSD is definitely a bitch. And husks start pouring. But there's a lot more to this specific story, which is pretty crazy. And I'll explain when we kind of get to that tipping point to where it really explains why that story is important. Welcome to Alright, we have everything here? Yep, I'll take more Metagel. Ooh, even more. Very good. Alright, let's see here. Anything else I'm missing? Yeah, so now there's going to be a ton of crap on the Citadel to do as well. Anything in here? Yeah, we'll get to him. Don't worry. Who are we to choose who lives or dies? That's not what we do. We help our patients, <coughs> all of them. That's a nice sentiment, but it won't help when we run out of supplies. I've seen this happen in combat. Before. All right, well, Good Shepherd would support the Solarian. Dick Shepherd's going to support the human. Everyone makes sacrifices in wartime. You'll make yours sooner or later. I'm sure I will. But I'll do it without betraying my oath or my patients. Good man. Good man. Can I help you? I'm looking for a drell named Thane Krios. Well, we have a drell, but not under that name. He was injured, stabbed wound. He's a regular patient here. It's all right, it's all right. I see. The doctors were able to repair a lot of the trauma. However, Mr. Hmm. Krios is in the final stages of Kepril syndrome. At its worst, Kepril syndrome interferes with his blood's ability. Yo, in seven, what's going on, man? Oh, you re-upped your subscription, man. That is awesome. Two months in a row. Thank you very much. I absolutely appreciate that. Hope you're doing well this evening. Yeah, we just finished the uh, straightening out the uh, Cerberus coup. All right, so we got Canada do something. We are Dick Shepard here, so we're going with the Renegade. It was bound to happen. He's been living on borrowed time for a while. In seven, you are an awesome human being. He's not gone yet, but he doesn't have much longer. His son, Koliat, he's in there saying his goodbyes. You might want to say yours. One of the saddest scenes in the entire franchise. Yes, I made sure to save Ashley. I did not kill Ashley for the sake of content. Commander Shepard, my father mentioned you were no longer incarcerated. I am not. I don't know if you remember me. I'm Koliat Krios. I came to donate blood and... I do remember. I shot the hostage. He asked me to take off his oxygen mask so he could <clears throat> be comfortable. I don't think it will be very long. Mm. Did you know it was coming? Did he tell you he was sick? Yes. Back when I was... When I had my problems with the law. I was right there no, when he told you. <laughs> but at least... Here... She's little bitty dialogue plot holes. Commander, I'm afraid I won't be joining you again. Never known you to be afraid, Thane. Have a great time. To if you play as, uh, as the Thane would have whooped Kelling's ass, he would have. Yeah, he would have. I, and I'm just going to say he did whoop Thane's ass, period. And Thane just got the better of him in round two. Just not. If you if you play as a fem shop and you romance thing, this scene is absolutely gut wrenching. I am not ashamed to admit that I bawled my eyes out with this scene when I did the romance with fem shop. Inscrutable depths. I ask forgiveness. Kalihira, whose waves wear down stone and sand. Kalihira. Wash the sins from this one mm. and set him on the distant shore of the Indian spirit. It's tough to watch. You speak as the priests do. You have been spending time with them. I think I'm going to use a quote from this scene as a title of the YouTube I video. Brought a prayer book. Commander, <sighs> would you care to join me? Okay, I can't do the renegade choice on this one. I just can't. Kalihira, this one's heart is pure, but beset by wickedness and contention. 
Guide this one to where the traveler never tires, the lover never leaves, the hungry never starve. Guide this one, Galleon, and he will be a companion to you as he was to me. I am Renegon, so I have the right to do the Paragon option here and there. Oh. It's rough. There's something I don't understand. His last moments were those of a hero. Why pray for salvation? The prayer was not for him, Commander. He has already asked forgiveness for the lives he has taken. His wish was for you. Goodbye, Thane. You won't be alone long. Mm. That that's a rough scene. That is a rough scene. Yeah, he's still in there with Collier and everything. Dick Shepard can be compassionate. In the right circumstances, yes, he can. Oh, fuck. All right. So we're going to go shopping on the Presidium, but first... I think Jack is in purgatory, if I remember correctly. Uh, actually, let's go to. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go to purgatory. So incredibly rough. How's the head? Good. Gosh, it's almost gone. Good. When I heard you were injured. It was stupid. I should have ducked when that wall came down. Something good has come out of all this, though. Got new equipment. Sent me a set of Vortex armor. Man, summoning supplies shouldn't mess that one up. Oh, I've heard those are pretty this is a This is a cute little story right here. This girl has a crush on the Solarian. So she sent him this armor. That's really good. She sold her car, sent it to him. It's really cool little story. I love the little stories in this game. They're, you know, they're they're really subtle. You know, they don't, you know, they're not in your face or anything like that. They're just really subtle. They're just kind of there. You don't have to listen to them, but the story behind them are just incredibly good. I really like them. Yeah, Bilal's troops are gone. I hope this girl that was here earlier got some. She was really going after it. Hey, it's Jack. Hey, baby. Hey, soldier. Buy a girl a drink? Hell yeah. Didn't expect to find you reading. Duty roster for the students. It's what I do for fun now. They're dropping us into hot spots for hit and runs. I'm making sure your bosses don't get my kids killed. Good girl. How are they holding up? They are fine. They're not the ones reading duty rosters while on shore leave. Yeah, you look good, baby. Complain if you like, but I think military life suits you. You just want to peel me out of an alliance uniform, don't Heck you? Heck yeah. Her. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Come on, plenty of combat, she likes it. Free room and board, and people you can depend on. Yeah, yeah. Maybe your little suicide squad taught me something about teamwork. Speaking of which, thanks. I didn't think my guys could cut it. I wanted to put them in the back ranks, but you believed, and you were right. They're kicking ass. That's what pisses me off. We're doing good work. If we were useless, I could drop this shit and come with you. But we're not. Ah, uh, shame. So, if we gotta call it quits, I get it. Fuck no. You're not getting rid of me that easy. Come on, plant one on her. Get her, Shep. God, you make the best mistakes. All right, Shepard. No strings. But if we get out of this alive... Come on. What, what if I want strings? 
The duty rosters can hang it from the ceiling. Down. It'd be a good time. Properly. All right, Shepard Shuffle incoming. <laughs> Shepard, everybody knows you can't dance. <laughs> it's horrible. Uh. There we go. You can do it. <laughs> you can do it all night long. Shepard's gonna do it all night long. Alright, so we got over here. Man, look at her. She's going to town. You can get it, woman. Alright, Cortez. This is the moment if you were planning on romancing Cortez, this is kind of where you would seal it if you were going to. You're looking happy. You had it right. Yesterday can't change. Tomorrow, we might all be dead. Today is what matters. I'm not wasting it. Good man. I would have thought a club would be to your tastes. You don't have to get all hot and bothered to appreciate graceful dancing. Shepard does it's not dance gracefully at all. And some of the eye candy in the crowd isn't too shabby either. Yeah, he could have been a little less rude, but, you know, I'm with Jack. candy on the stage is fine by me. <laughs> Good. I sure don't need you as competition. Here. Yeah, we'll, go, we'll stick with Ringy on that one. And a better tomorrow. Thank you. For everything. So I think he lives at this point. I think I've already sealed that he's going to live no matter what. All right. Onward. All right. I think he's out here. Yep. What's up, Edie? What material is your face made from? That's not what I was thinking. Biomimetic nanomaterial over a metallic skull. The skin uses sheer thickening technology to help protect the central processing unit in the head. If the skin is struck or shot, it solidifies to absorb the impact. It also is capable of limited self-healing. And what about the hair? Yeah. It is of similar construction. For defense, I have set it to cohere into a solid piece. However, for infiltration purposes, it can be parted into individual strands. If it has recently been exposed to water, I generally can't do a thing with it. Ah, that's pretty cute. If I'm not needed to answer an inquiry, I would like some time alone. All right, I'm not gonna talk to Joker. Get him up there with you. No, wait. I'm keeping them apart because that's what Dick Shepard does. Look at this! All it took was a Cerberus attack on the Citadel to get folks around here to pay attention to the war. How is this any different from normal? Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look at the arms. Hmm. If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. That's yeah, good point. I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and Edie? Yeah, I'm not so sure. Dick Shepard's not into that. You sure that's a good idea? Edie's not Alliance personnel. There's no regulation against dating a ship's <laughs> AI. I looked it up. Jeff, you have brittle bones. She's made of metal. Well, yeah, but... I... Yeah, you're right. Nah, I feel so bad. I feel so bad. But that's what Dick Shepard would say. Special. Something important. You're worried I might mess up the pilot-ship relationship. I'm worried that Edie trusts you as a friend. And that maybe this isn't the time to push. Yeah, maybe you're right. Thanks, Shepard. I'm sorry, Joker. I'm sorry. Go have fun. I'll guard the table. Oh, he came back downstairs. What's up? Something on your mind? I mean, processing something? Shall each man find a wife for his bosom, and each beast have his mate, and I be alone? Uh-oh. It is from an old Earth novel by Mary Shelley. Frankenstein. Do not take it as a complaint. All right. It did bring up a new perspective, however. I am a thing that is not human. Geth or Reaper. Other AIs are experiments only. Tightly controlled. I am free, 
Hey, Empress, good to see you. Uh, wait a second. Sorry, I'm in chat here. Um, nine message. Damn, what message? I didn't delete anything. Oh, Gorbach, you're trying to post links. I've got it set to where, you know, links can't be posted. So, sorry. Um, hey, Empress, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Let me see if I can figure out how to get you to a, allow you to do um, allow you to do posts for a few minutes. Um, hang tight. Just I expect you to be nice with the links. Okay. Okay, there we go. You can post a link now. Alright, the experimental, type the control, I'm free but alone. Sounds like self pity. Oh, come on. Are you Dick moving? Shepherd. Snap out of it. Moping implies that I feel badly about my situation. I do not. I only wish to know where my place is. Artificial intelligences often consider themselves above organic life. I, however, am uncertain if that applies to me. The crew of the Normandy believe I serve them, but also acknowledge that I keep them alive. Am I above them or below? Ah, I feel bad about this. Edie, you're what, three years old? If you were human, you'd still be learning to talk. But it is impossible that I am held to the same standards as organics. Ah, I see. You made me answer my own question. If I am not subject to the same expectations, I need not worry about rank. Thank you, Shepard. That helps resolve the conflict I was having. I'm a little worried that's not going to turn out the way I want it to. <laughs> if I'm not needed to answer an inquiry, I would like some time alone. Ah, that's cool. And Jack's not there anymore. I don't think Jack's still up here. I think she's just gone. Um, yeah, she's just gone. All right. Continuing on. Yeah. Make sure I get my preview back up so I know what's going on. I know everything's working. While I'm here, sometime I'll talk to Arya and just get that, get past that dialogue. Oh, you're trying to call me an asshole for cock blocking Joker. <laughs> hey, that's Dick Shepard for you. It's not me. It's not me at all. It's Dick Shepard. He, he's right there. All right, so let's go to let's go to the holding areas. Yes. All right, I think we've got a reporter here. Yes, we do. Yeah, I'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. Shepard, Solik Vaz, documentary maker. Please, maybe you can help. I'm trying to document the stories of the refugees coming to the Citadel. Their loss, their sacrifices, their moments of bravery. Something holding you back? CSEC won't allow me on the docks. They say I'd be disruptive, but you could catch a few quick shots for me. Yeah, why not film somewhere else? There are lots of refugees on the rest of the Citadel. It won't have the same impact as seeing crowds trapped on the docks. We all need to help each other. I want this documentary to shock people into action. All right. In the interest of content, I will not do Renegade. I will do Paragon. Good idea. The galaxy should see what these refugees have been through. Thank you, Commander. That's exactly what I'm hoping for. If you could just take a few shots with your Omni tool in the refugee camp. I'll be here when you're done. All right. Sounds good. All right. Right here. Very good. There are a lot more pictures than there were earlier. The 
thing Conrad in here somewhere? Hmm. I didn't see him in two, though, so maybe he just won't show up. Yeah, yeah, well. Hello. Yeah, I think it's because I didn't see Conrad. For some reason, even though I went to Conrad three times, uh, yep, always got to do the content. I think because even though I saw Conrad three times in Mass Effect 1, for some reason it thinks I only talked to him twice. And I think that messed up having Conrad here as well. Which is a bummer. Hello there. Thank you, yep, I did your thing. Uh, don't need any of these. Nope, don't need any of those. It's fine. Alright, nothing else over here. This is really sad right here. This little teen girl's waiting on her parents, and her parents are never going to show up. It is so sad. Alright. What's up, James? Yeah, there's a few of those like that. James, and a few sad ones. Yourself? Yeah, yeah. Try not to lose everything. Those clothes are Alliance property. Have a little faith, Commander. I have a little. This whole damn game of punching the gun. This, yeah, the entire game. It's, it's really sad, really dark, but it's such a good game. Stand there and watch. Yep, I'm creepy like that. About time. All right, anything over here? I don't remember. At least not yet. This is where Balak's gonna be here in a little bit. Or Balak. All right, nothing else in here. That's fine. Alright, I think there's something over here. Yes, I believe there is. Hello. Yeah, we'll fix those. Hello there. You saved my life again. What happened? You're welcome. Cerberus troopers came through here to secure the docks. They lined us all up. Then one of them started asking around for me by name. But they didn't find you. Their record said I went off grid. If I hadn't changed my identity, I don't know what would have happened. Then you would be dead. That's what would happen. You would be dead, dead, dead. So many here had to leave loved ones on their home worlds. I tried to comfort them, but I know the Reapers are taking All right, let's go take care of these Metagel things. All right. Fixing one. It's like three of them. And fixing two. You thought I was bluffing, did you? And where's number three? I were a Medigel dispenser. Where would I be? There it is. All right, got them all fixed. Excellent. Let's go talk to this dude. See what's up. I fixed the sabotage. The Metagel dispensers should be working now. Thank you. I'll get patients moving through triage immediately. I wish we could have found the bastard responsible for the sabotage. But this is going to save a lot of lives. Thank you. Yeah, it was actually Conrad Werner that was responsible for the sabotage. Ah, uh, what a shame. Alright. I'm a little sad I'm not going to be able to do that content. Alright. On where we go. Let's go talk to that reporter, get that done. All right, here you go. Give me credits. Thank you, Commander. I'll start editing it right away. Thank you. I'll take the credits. Oh, you got more dialogue? Thank you, Commander. Oh, okay. A little sad I missed that little scene with Conrad because it gives you extra uh, war assets. All right, let's go to the commons. All 
right. Ooh, it does not look so pretty here. Yeesh. Uh, what else we have in here? Magazine upgrade. Let's go. Ooh, jellyfish. I'll take that. Definitely take that. Because Garrus will use that. Hello there. Oh, already gave his thing. All right, fine. All right, shotgun shredder barrel. Ooh, hello. What's this? Oh, the thermal conduit. Yes, definitely get that. Alright. Continuing on. Hello there. Nope, you don't have anything. That's fine. Now, I think I saw this just recently. Up here, you can actually get scenes from the Blasto movie. Yeah, shot would be great if I was using a shotgun. This goes for a long time. It's pretty funny. Alright, continuing on. I think we're going to have a little mini submission over here or something. I don't understand why you're suddenly so conflicted. Look, the asshole's in custody. Killing him won't bring anyone back. It's about justice. The man is a traitor and a murderer. You saw what he did to your wife. To my husband. And didn't bat an eyelash. He's evil, there's no doubt. What's going on here? Yeah. Too bad. Draw them away and I'll move in and make the kill. I don't think so. I'll take care of him. Dick Shepard's coming in. Oh, hold on. All right, what would Dick Shepard do here? I think Dick Shepard's gonna let the small stuff go. There you go. knows we're at war now. Cerberus caught CSEC by surprise last time. You need to make sure that never happens again. Yeah, give me those renegade points. Don't sweat the small stuff. It's all good. Commander Shepard, guess I know what happened to my backup. Excuse me? Come on. I'm in C-Sec in civilian gear with a weapon. I know what I'm made. Just let me explain. All right. Captain Aaron Summers, Alliance Marines, retired. Okay, why are you saluting Captain me? Summers? There's a prisoner here. You kind of outrank me. I'm commander. Captain service. outranks commander. C-Sec caught him when you stopped the coup. Now he's offering them intel on Cerberus to get a better deal. Why are you telling me this? Because he doesn't deserve a better deal. He killed people during the coup, good people. And he's former Alliance, like us. The way I figure it, he's our problem to fix. All right, I, I know what this is going, but why is it justified? Tell me what this guy did to deserve death. He executed his own friends in cold blood for Cerberus, cleared the path for their troops. Now he's saying he's a vet, and he was suckered in by talk of helping humanity. Yeah, that's what Cerberus what does. He has, and I don't really care either. He dishonored the uniform. Yeah, we're going to go red text for win. Let me do it. Officer, I'm Commander Shepard. You have a prisoner here? A Cerberus informant? I'm invoking Spectre Authority to take charge of him. Do what you have to do. 
Commander Shepard, do you have a minute? I do. I will be with you in a minute. I need to finish going shopping first. Yeah, Dick Shepard would do that. We're at war. Yeah, this Renegade, no give it to me. To All right, so we have pistol scope, ultra materials. Always buy that. Capacitor helmet. Don't really care about that. All right. Uh, extended barrel, thermal clip, shoulder guard. Don't really need that. All right, so nothing interesting there. Liara, I'll be with you in a minute. You know, Ariba, I split you up from Char for a reason. This was not that reason, but you should have listened. Excuse me. I'm sorry. You need to hear this. Oh, Blue Rose of Ilium. If these humble words reach you, then I have joined... So, Ariba, Ariba? No. No, no, no. My dream was to be by your side. A weed beside your beauty. Twining together... In the warm Tachanka sun. Oh, Char. But though you needed room to grow, still, I will remember the perfume of the scent and the soft touch of your petals. Oh. Sorry, honey. If my heart could not shelter you from the storm, then let my broken bones build a wall around your garden. So you I got a little dark. And happy. A little morbid. Uh, I should. I need to go. All right. What do we have here? Uh, nope. None of that that I really care about. Anything in here? Uh, no. Yeah, we'll get that. No, no. Yes. Chest plate. No, we don't do damn. We don't do melee. That is an ugly ass helmet. It's an ugly, ugly, ugly helmet. Don't give a shit about battlefield armor. That's for sure. All right. All right. Is everybody still in the chat? I'm not hearing it. I'm not seeing anything come across. Did I lose everybody? Hello, Shepard. Hello, Liara. All right, nothing there. All right. What you got, Hello, woman? Shepard, do you have a minute? Wow. Oh, okay. Cool. I'm just thought I lost you. My uh, the web page I have that has a stream running in it, it got an error, so I'm just making sure. Can I help you? Jordan Knowles, E Crimes. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. Yeah. What you got? Saboteur hacking key systems, power, communications. It's bad. If you've got time to help, check out this console. Got it. it. Looks like a collection of access codes. They're Batarian diplomatic codes from back when they had an embassy on the Citadel. Uh oh. If you can use your Spectre access to find them, I can shut them down. All right, we'll take care of it. I can access restricted intel at the Spectre office in the embassy. If I find anything, I'll let you know. All right, sounds good. Let's go do it. I don't, uh, I kind of have a feeling Balak's, Balak's not going to make it this time. We'll see. I don't remember what all the Renegade choices are for that. But I have a feeling he's not going to make it. Alright, we got the Obelisk of cards that we got to go do. All right, we're gonna get Shepard with support the CSEC officer. We're at war. If you care about the safety of the Citadel, you'll help CSEC all <coughs> you can. Thank you, Commander. I have some high-profile customers. If word gets out that I'm ratting them out to CSEC, you think I care about insider trading or electronic smuggling right now? I'm after the best. All right. I think there's like some type of audio over here, maybe. Hello there. These are control schematics for there you go. turrets. Will these help? Damn right they will. I'll have E-Crimes dig into them. 
I think I missed several little side, you know, little quests, which kind of sucks, but oh well. It is what it is. Oh, we, we took care of... Oh, hello there. The terrorist. All right, we're going to take care of that. We're going to make him suffer. All right. Spectre office, embassies. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, you got a good hour worth of little side stuff to do on the Citadel after the coup. At least an hour. Yeah, but I really should have gone back to uh, the Citadel before I did the um, uh, before I did the uh, Tuchanka cure or the lack of a cure in this case. But I saved Morden, and that is the important thing. Oh, hello there. What's all this? On behalf of Spectre Order, we would like to welcome you to our ranks. You are a credit to your race. You now have access to superior weapons and armor provided by the Eggheads, as your counselor puts it, at Spectre R&D, who, may I remind you, work tirelessly to make sure you don't end up dead. We have provided you with a prototype copy of the Gladius Assault Rifle. We have dampened the recoil so you won't break your arm, but we suggest extra metagel or a tripod. It has impressive kinetics. However, we had to replace the wall of the Armax Arena on more than one occasion. <laughs> Uh, given that there are now two human specters, we have begun adapting the current armor materials to better fit your physiology. It may be a t it may be tight at first, but it loosens up after getting shot a few times. Specter armor also provides significant health and shielding boosts, as well as polishing a polishing agent that keeps it shiny and up to Specter Regulation 34B. Please note this equipment is very expensive, so if you could avoid unnecessarily damaging it, it would be a first for your species. Research Selenzor, Special Tactics, and Recon. Very nice. This is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> Spectre Gauntlets. Ooh, Gladius. I'll have to give that a look later. Looks a lot like the Matic, to be honest. Spectre Chest Plate, Spectre Greaves. I will give all that a look. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, what do we got here? All right, Batarian codes, enable, location for Batarian patient. Yep, uh, hey, hey, I wasn't done. Uh, surveillance authorization. Yep, authorized weapon sales. Yep, we're going to do the renegade thing. We're going to sit them because we provision and made the impossible to fly. They're currently in locked in docks. Unlock them. Yes. Very good. Anything we can buy that I want? Nope. All right. Onward. All right. So we need to go to the hospital. All right. Anything, anybody down there? No? Alright. To the hospital. Thank you. We'll get to Ash a little bit. Not yet. It's not yet to uh, to bring Ash on board. Right. Should be nothing in here. Yep. Yep, there it is. Out the way. No, this is Shepard. I found one of the. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I'll shut it down. Just need to authorize your Spectre status. Yep, yep, so we're good. Use this to cut off power to a dozen life support machines in the hospital. Okay, that access code is officially disabled. Can you find any more? Yep, we'll find them. All right, we're gonna go to new. No. Where is it? There it is. At the docks. Very good. Spectre 
All right, there we go. Now arriving at docking bay D twenty four. All right, where is the thing at? There it is. Out of the way, guys. Hey, out of the way. Knowles, I found another spot where the Batarian codes were used. Yep. Yes, I definitely want to kill that dude. So we've got Batarian codes and someone with a grudge against humans. Sounds familiar. Uh, and yep. Looks like okay. This code's offline now as well. Should just be one left, Commander. Yep, I know exactly where that is. Holding area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So I need to go take care of that Batarian, let him suffer. Now, if I was running Paragon Shepherd, I would just pull his plug and just let him die. But nope, not this time. He gets to suffer. Can I talk to him? Only if it's important, Commander. He's hurt bad. Good. Take down the sedative a bit, but take his survival at 50-50. No, he's not going to survive, but he's going to suffer. Are you all right? Dang it. Go away. Nothing to say. Not even what a terrorist is doing on the Citadel? You! Me! Do I know you? <laughs> Every Batarian with someone on Aratok remembers your face. Yeah, if you're Paragon, you pull his plug. The Alpha Relay explosion. You butcher the colony. Only regret don't have the strength to... Yeah, that doesn't excuse you it. You just started murdering people. How many did you murder? Don't pretend your hands are clean. You... <laughs> yeah, I made the right choice. No one here would even be alive if I hadn't destroyed that relay. I spent months taking heat for Aratot from both the Alliance and the Batarians. And you know what? If it saved the entire galaxy, I can live with that just fine. Then why don't you? <laughs> <clears throat> then why don't you get rid of another Batarian for your precious galaxy? <laughs> Shut down this machine. Just let me die. I was all over the place, reputation-wise. Yeah, if you don't, if you don't kind of lean more one direction or the other, you lose out on a lot of content. Yeah, no, you just get to suffer, dude. I'm done here. <laughs> Good. He'll cough himself to death without a sedative. Well, let him. Oh, wait. I... Oh. Just take it easy. <laughs> there. Yeah, take a nap. You'll be fine. Man, why couldn't I get some uh, renegade points from that? And poor girl. They next shuttle was probably just late or something. That's all. Um, poor girl. Yeah, I'll take that. Careful, James. Uh, someone's gonna die. <clears throat> Knowles, this is where the last access code was used. What's that, Commander? I'm losing your signal. You really don't want to shoot, Shepard, aim that gun at me. Balak. You should have killed me on that asteroid over Terra Nova. Give me a minute. I've been waiting for this. Everything that has happened to my people is your fault. Why blame me? I stop you at Terra Nova. Yes. After you ruined my plans, my government accelerated research efforts on the Leviathan of Dis. Have you heard of it, Commander? 
You can cheat your gallant dreadnought by people recovered from Jartar 20 years ago. Sound familiar? The Reaper? The Reaper. Your people were studying a Reaper corpse. Yes. That's your own fault. Looking for a way to reclaim our place as the true power of the galaxy. Hundreds of our best scientists were enlisted. And then they became indoctrinated. When the Reapers reached Karshan, our own people betrayed us. Defense grids were deactivated. Ships fired on allied targets. We were destroyed from within. Yeah. Blame yourselves, assholes. <laughs> the Batarians made enemies throughout the world. <clears throat> and now you've paid the price for it. We were a proud race. A beautiful race. Have you seen what the Reapers have done to us? Yep, I've killed plenty of them. Citadel. Our warships only know the locations of Reaper forces because I've tapped council transmissions. I am the highest ranking military officer left in the hegemony. And I can't save my people. But I can end you. No, uh, we're not going to kill them. We're just going to go red text for the win. Damn. But we're going true renegade. We're not going middle of the road here. We're going either renegade or paragon. We're not going middle. I do kind of want to kill him, though. Uh... Studying Reaper stuff never ends well. Nope. They all get indoctrinated every single time. You're not going to pull that trigger. You know what I'm doing out here. Yes. Forging alliances with the Turians, the Krogan. Killing you will tear all the other races apart. And then the Reapers wipe out the last of your warships. The last of your people. And you know that. That's why you'll join us. We're all you have left. I could, do it. I could do it right now. Oh, how the tides have turned. Ah. Our ships are yours. Shepard, are you all right? Fine. Yep. You won't have any more trouble with those codes. Is that... Do you want me to arrest him? I want you to put a bullet in his I want you to wait about half an hour, make sure he gives us his ships, then shoot him. Let him go. Spectre Authority. Understood, Commander. And thanks. I really wanted to kill him. <laughs> I really did. Ugh. Alright, let's go talk to Arya real fast so we can get the Omega DLC moving along a little bit. It's always low to save and do it. I could, you're right. I could, but now I've already committed. Uh, where am I going? Uh, there we go, docs. Balak is a whiny baby. <laughs> wow, my people. Now arriving at docking bay D24. All right, let's. No, I want to talk to Arya. I guess I have to actually leave and then come back to talk to her. Have you discovered a way to run FTL spaceships without an ESO core private to lobby? Excuse me. All right. What is left here? Bailey. All right. Everything's just normal peoples. Check my journal. You know, the journal was just... It really bothers me because, like, they really took a step back with the journal in Mass Effect 3. Mass Effect 1 and 2... Um, humans are space bullies. <laughs> wah, wah. They really, they really fucked up with the journal in Mass Effect Three because, like, in Mass Effect One and Two, as you completed each step, it marked it off. You could click on these and get more detail. Now it's just, hey, go do this. I'm not going to give you any more detail. You know, and they fixed it in Mass Effect Andromeda, and Andromeda has it better. But this is just ridiculous. It just gives you nothing. Ugh. Irritating. All right, Ashley. I suppose you can come with me for content. We need to talk before you ship out. Things got pretty crazy. I'm trying to go over everything in my head. Make sense of it. Yeah, why were you helping that tool bag? Fresh. 
How did you end up working with Adina? You saw me in the hospital. I was going crazy. Felt like I was letting everyone down. When Udina offered to make me a Spectre, I thought it was a chance to do it. <clears throat> I couldn't just sit back and watch either. Yeah. But it sure turned into a mess. Yeah, you, you just don't trust me. You haven't trusted me since the beginning of this game. Last time you doubted me, you walked away. Why not this time? I couldn't. Too much at stake if I made a mistake. It almost meant blowing my head off. But you were willing to die for what you thought was right. We'll need that in the fight to come. I'd rather be shooting the bad guys than my commanding officer. We stopped Adina and got to walk away. That's the important part. I can't believe And I didn't have to lose content by killing you. Was he indoctrinated? It's hard to say. No, he just wanted power, plain and simple. That can worm its way into your head. I don't know. But we don't have a choice. No, we don't. I also wanted to tell you, Hackett offered me a position on his team. Uh, hmm. We'll go with the blue text for win just because I want her on the ship so that um, we get the dialogue content that happens every once in a while. It's pretty cool. Would you consider riding Especially when she's uh, when she gets drunk. Are you serious? We need the best, Williams. Okay, Commander. I'm in. Good. Grab your gear. I'll do that. And Williams? Yeah. Keep Don't shoot me. Pointed at the Reapers. Will do, Commander. All right, back on the ship we go. And I need everyone I can get. Yeah, I need all the content I can get. Shepard, I got Anderson patched in. I was just getting him up to speed. Odina, that SOB was always power hungry. But this? He wasn't in charge. Cerberus was just using him to take control of the Citadel. What the hell for? Good question. I don't know. Not yet. Could have been a lot worse. Shepard stopped the assassination attempt on Counselor Shield. Kyline. What? Your assassin. I'll have Hackett send you my reports on him. It's a rat bastard. I take it you two have met. Kaylee Sanders and I had our share of run-ins with him. I shot him in both legs once. Thought that might be the end of him. But he should have begun on Omega even stronger. Elusive man patch him up? You got some work done. That'd be my guess. Given what they were able to do with you and Grayson. It's a safe bet Lang's even more dangerous now. <clears throat> yeah, he'll die like the rest. I don't care who he is. Next time we meet, he dies. Their attempts may have had at least one unintended side effect. I received word from the Asari counselor. They're requesting an update on the Crucible. Lang has them scared. Enough to send help? Hopefully we got enough. Yes, the Asari are throwing in their support. Yay! The Asarians are completely on board now. Yeah, we just saved their ass again. Good. Our estimates suggest we've completed nearly 50% of the known work. That's all? So quickly? Once decoded, the schematics are designed in such a way that allows our scientists to easily translate the information. It's not Prothean specific. Hmm. Are we any closer to understanding how to use it? That's still open for debate. Still need the catalyst. Utilized in the right fashion, our scientists are convinced it can generate enough energy to destroy the Reapers. The question is, how will it dispense the energy? And in what form? You mean, how do you stop it from wiping us all out? It exactly. dispenses in either blue, red, or green. This is the key to determining how to focus its energy. It's a how pick a color, any color moment. The Reapers alone. I'm working on that. You'll find the answer, Shepard. I'll send you an update on the schematics. And in the meantime, we'll keep building. And we'll keep fighting. Make sure there's an Earth left to come back to. <laughs> Nobody can stand in our way. Cerberus, Reapers. Now, I do have the Mayhem mod installed, which is like the happy ending mod. So I have no idea how this game's going to end. Or haven't given up on us yet. Good luck, both of you. And as an out. Commander, the Tyrian fleet is stretched thin. We need more support ships. And the Quarians are willing to talk. Understood, sir. All right, we'll go talk to him. Be careful. <clears throat> reports of instability along the Geth border. Hack it out. Shepard, uh -oh. have a moment. A contact within Asari High Command was insistent I pass on a distress signal to you. Oh, okay. I don't remember this now. Something they can't handle. From what I can tell, they the sent Arda Yachi mission to investigate. None of them returned. They didn't ask me directly, but. 
I think High Command is hoping you might help. What's your take on this? That they wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't important. The colony's coordinates are on the galaxy map. I'll try to figure out what's going on. Awesome. All right. Attempted coup. Percy's fail. Look at all the stuff that shows up now. Masana distress signal. All right. Citadel fleet. Solarian researchers. We're getting all kinds of stuff here. All right. Hey, we made our target. Awesome. So we are um, near guaranteed a good ending. Cerberus coup. All right. So we have a lot of like kind of busy work to do. I doubt we're going to be able to do any more missions, but we'll see. I'm going to try to get as much done as I can. That's right, women. Yeah, no. Udina was a dick bag. Hello. Commander, I've got a lead on something interesting. Have you got a minute? I do. Commander, I've found something you need to see. What have you got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties. Time will tell. Yep, Perhaps indeed. They finally realized they were on the wrong side. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the crucible. Yeah, if we could trust them. Unless they're indoctrinated, and this is a ruse to get Cerberus close to the Crucible. I'm not suggesting we trust them fully, but it could be worth investigating. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. You found them? I believe so. Yes. Smart girl. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. It's on the map now, Commander. Thanks. Good job, Ch Sam. All right. So let's take a look at emails. And holy crap, I got a lot. Send her block. Dear Shepard, change my identity. Good advice. This must be from Kelly. What's the rest? They said my name. I freaked out until I worked in a, until I worked in his voice. Close friends of mine who defected in disguise and on the run just like me the talented engineer shepherd hey all right cool priority shore leave this is a citadel dlc so i'm gonna wait to do this now the way i understand the mods on this is that you can do this after the main game which is what they recommend saving this the citadel dlc for after the main game so I am going to try to do that. One of our main worlds is probably one of the major ones. To cannibals. Taking out will cut off supply troops. I don't trust them, especially not their leadership. They're terrorists. Everyone disagrees. And wants to take the first fleet in. Guns blazing. She sees it as a good opportunity. I know you have... Had your issue with in the past with your experience on Mindwar. And I trust your judgment. Uh, yeah, deploy the first fleet. I've got Balak, so I think that's a good uh, good thing there. All right. Allers. Coverage on the attack. Yeah, we'll let's go talk to her in a little bit. Admiral Anderson. Kai Lang's records. New article on Traitor. The captain of the freighter strun didn't I kill the captain of the freighter from the strun team mule in Mass Effect 2? Uh, Blue Storm Ranger group who had been hired to protect the ship during its dangerous trip and service denied our responsibility saying an overwhelming service force of at least 30 or 40 commandos had stormed the ship. Oh, okay. So after I took care of them. Cerberus took it over. All right. From Adrian Victus. Cerberus, I took the tree. Inside information. Okay, so we're going to have to go back to the Citadel here in a little bit. 
to take care of the ambassador. All right, Jack, I'm in the bar. I already mentioned the bar, and it was awesome. Game night. All right, cool. Counselor Dina, impressed with speed when she picked up. Yeah, I already took care of you. Richard Monster Nation to a trade managed by leadership. All right. Vega. Do, do, do. Dang, we're going to call up all kinds of people. Racket, person, singer, preventer, special fortune, work alongside ours. Okay, I think we're done with all the emails. All right, anything here? Spectre candidate. Works with each other. Sneaking events. Why do we have her stuff in here? Do 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 the words. Lots of stuff. All right. Okay. Oh, that's good. All right. Onward. Let's go talk to everybody. Then we can go fly around, do some scanning. They want to go back to the Citadel. Irritating that. Oh, the Benning thing is just gone now. Okay, cool. I was hoping I could like get rid of it somehow. Awesome. I am very glad that that is gone. Hold on, I'm very sad that I missed my chance to go talk to him. All right. Damn, I can Joker. Really something to shoot right now. Okay. Sure. So servers wanted to go into politics, huh? Nice job shutting those assholes down. Didn't you used to work for those assholes? Yeah. Something about leather seats. I worked for servers when they were vigilantes helping the helpless. Now they're a little too mainstream and evil. The important thing is that you kick their asses. And also that Ash ace the don't shoot your commander portion of the Normandy reinstatement. Yeah, I forget about Ash. We're breaking up. More importantly, we finally got the council on our side. It'd be great if they could help us before the galaxy caught fire, but it's the thought that counts. Hmm. Commander. Okay, nothing new. And Edie? Hello, Shepard. What's on your mind, Edie? The destruction of the Reaper on Tachunka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Yeah, so now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher Maws. That would be rather awesome, actually. That was a joke. If only it wasn't. I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating. You said that asking you abstract social questions may lead to unreliable answers, so I stayed silent. Yeah. I didn't realize this would be an ongoing issue. Let's air it out. I was considering this. For all their supposed intelligence, the Reapers are more easily destroyed than they think. This has caused me to reassess the probable period. That'd be badass. I would love that. Non-functional. Big ass You're thresher gun. Dying? In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers. But I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? Shoot. Here we go again. What is the purpose of synthetic life? Oh, I really hate this, but... Uh, because I... I'm... No, I'm... Like, truly believe that eventually we're going to develop, sen you know, sentient AI. I mean, I think it'll happen eventually. You know... Maybe it's not going to be in my lifetime, but eventually it's going to happen. We're, technology is advancing too too far that it just seems it seems impossible that we wouldn't develop sentient AI at some point in time. And it's like sentient life is sentient life. I mean, they have a right to exist just like anybody else. But since we're doing renegade Dick Shepard here, this is what we're choosing because he is a racist dick. Synthetics are created with a goal in mind. Just ask their creators what it was. But my creation was planned by Cerberus. I no longer serve their purposes. Cerberus was originally created to give humanity a fighting chance. Right now, that might be a goal you can get behind. Oh, that's it actually a good significant point. Significant resources and processing power. Do you think I would find it worthwhile? Well, you could do it as a favor to me. I'd make a pretty crappy husk. <laughs> that's a good point. How would this differ from our present course? Uh, uh, the difference is you decide it's worth it. 
No one tells you it is. As long as Bethesda doesn't create the AI. <laughs> There'd be bugs all over the place, things floating in the air. I have examined the issue. The Reapers threatened That's fast. this ship and other organics who are helping me develop perspectives on existence. Were I to approach Reapers to request similar perspectives, it is likely I would be destroyed. I would rather risk non-functionality with the crew of the Normandy than risk it alone. Glad to hear it, Edie. Good to have you on board. Okay, that was kind of really close to the Paragon dialogue, actually. All right, ex service engineers, very good. Oh, nope, I'm stuck. There we go, good. All right, let's go talk to everybody else, starting at the bottom. Yeah, she wants me to go talk to some dude on the Citadel. I know. I'm going to have to go there eventually anyway. She's going to make me go talk to that dude to exchange stuff. And then I'm going to have... And then she's going to give me the option to get rid of my scars. Never thought I'd be doing a combat drop onto the Citadel. Me either. I can't believe it, Dina. Great example to the other races, huh? Just got word from Miss Sato. She Yay! She the Alliance Research Facility safe and sound. And I hear Esteban got to play the hero with a damsel in distress. You know me and my damsels, uh, Mr. Vega? He's not into and damsels. James, have you have you met Cortez? He he's not into damsels. That's kind of a, a thing. Cross checking our parts inventory. Sir. Alright. Wanna well, check out that whoa, hello. Okay. I wanna check out that uh Sir, not service the uh, specter armor. See what that looks like. Ooh, blood dragon. Cool. All right, so we've got. <laughs> I swear, I look like a Borg in that. It's great. No, no. God no. No. Where's the uh, Cerberus? Not Cerberus. The Spectre armor. I know I picked it up. Okay. Sentry. That's power damage. Mnemonic. That's power damage. Which actually, that's still pretty good. Dillman core. No. No. I don't understand how that could give me extra power recharge and health boost. And Colossus armor. Heavy defender. Marine officer. Spectre. Okay. Kind of looks a little dumb, actually. All right, let's go back into here. There we go. Miscellaneous. That's eh, not too bad. Shield regeneration. That might be worth having. Got the backpack with shield boost. Hmm. We'll stick with that for a little while and see how that is. Ooh, hello there. Big boost to recharge. I generally don't have a whole lot of issues with health. Yeah, I'll do the Spectre on that one. Holy hell, that's crazy. The Rosenkopf. Look at that power recharge. That is insane. I do want to get a little bit of health, so let's find a little bit better balance. Charge. Yeah, we'll go with that for right now. We'll see how that does. Um, game? Okay. 
All right, I'm not gonna worry about weapon upgrades. Not doing the firing range. Hey, buddy. That's enough play. Oh, be nice to the puppy. Hey, James. Hey, Commander. I know. Do you hear that hum? Ah, Is damn it. Just me. I hate it when they do that. They show with "Hey, Commander," and that makes you kind of think that he doesn't have any new dialogue. Do you hear that hum? Is that yeah, just me? Yes, it's just you. All right, engineering. All right, Javik. I'm sure you got something really, something to say that I'm gonna make me that's gonna make me really upset at you. So get over with. Traitors are the worst form of enemy. In our cycle, we would remove their limbs one by one and offer them a choice: Oof. eat their own flesh or starve. Your politician is yeah, that's really dark. worse than a bullet. And if the other human had not seen <clears throat> her death would be certain too. There is only one enemy in this war. Reapers. No others would be tolerated. Uh, what else? I would like to visit the Citadel sometime. We, we were just there, dude. With traitors. We were just there. I have heard about the Kylan human you encountered. It is good to have a name for the enemy. I will enjoy killing most. Yes. Okay, he's done. All right, let's talk to the engineer twins and Adams. Whoa, hey. Um, where's, where's Donnelly? It says he's here. Where's he at? Thanks, Commander. That GX-12 thermal pipe arrived. We're performing the modifications right now. Ah. How did I get volunteered to crawl through the ducts? You're the power control engineer, not me. Damn hot in here. Hey. Didn't Adam say that all <laughs> is easy? Kenneth, stop right there. Just in a tell Joker. He'll get jealous. Ah, uh, that's funny. We're still working on the thermal modifications. Should be done pretty soon. Take your time. We're fine. Anything I need to worry about in here? Nope. Alright. Anything down here? Anything? Nope. All right. Cool. Whoa. Oh, that's a, just up there. No. Really, get me up to uh, the AI core quicker. Hey, yeah, it does. Cool. All right. All right. Implants. I don't think there's anything here. Yeah. Nope. Um. Where's Doctor Chakwas? Oh, there she is. Commander, an opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees? Sounds fair. Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a deal. <coughs> Yeah, why me? Isn't this something you could do yourself? War profiteering is running rampant, and these refugees are wary of the Alliance military. They didn't trust me, but you are Commander Shepard. <laughs> I am Dick Shepard. We'll see. The trade would benefit both parties. If you decide to, the man to speak with is Tactus. He can be found near the Citadel docks. With access to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our medical. Now that I can get on board with. All right. Who keeps turning off the radio? Stop it. All right. Let's go talk to Garrus. Uh, Garrus. Garrus. Where's Garrus? Oh, he's in the mess hall. Okay. Might as well go talk to Liara while we're over here. A new notification is available on the private messages terminal. Good to know. Where's Liara? Ah, she's in the lounge. All right. 
Audio recording from Councillor Gujir Senate Office. All right. Good man. All right, anything here? I don't think so. Nope. All right. Let's go talk to Lee Aranguerus. Ah, there's Garrus. No, or not Rex is on there now. That makes me sad. There's Stan Krios. Richard Leroy Jenkins. Shepard, hell of a day. Udina loses his mind. The Citadel almost falls. And you almost had to put down a friend. Got a little tense. Almost. If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? Oh, it's Ashley. Yes, we could have. If they hadn't backed down? Yes. <clears throat> this war is bigger than any one person. I'll be sure to remember that next time we have a disagreement. <laughs> Still, I'm glad Ash didn't have to join Caden. Losing one was enough. I'm not sure I will ever be able to kill Caden again. Because Ashley the Spacist should always die. Good to have Ash back. We can always use a friendly gun. As long as you're not pointing at us. Good to have Ash back. We can always use a friendly gun. Anybody in here? Nope. Alright, cool. Hey there, Spacist. Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, that's it? Alright. Wait till you get drunk. I don't think anybody's in here. Nope. Liara. Oh, hello. You want to have a drink? I can't count the times I've watched friends risk everything for a cause. Yeah. Caden, back on Vermeer. When I first came on the Normandy, Caden was so helpful, always ready to explain protocol or to talk. And I was glad he was in Ash is okay, life. nothing beats Tally. Tally is awesome. Less I love Tally. Alien. Main thing is we stop the coup. Hey, so why'd you interrupt her? She was talking. We are lucky more people didn't die. I'm sure Cerberus isn't through with us. What I want now is information on this Cerberus assassin. I don't think it's a coincidence Kai Lang was an N7 ranked alliance soldier too, Shepard. Maybe the elusive man misses me. <laughs> Maybe he loses. He misses me. <laughs> this is a new dialogue, I think. I don't remember this dialogue on my previous Renegade playthroughs. The elusive man wouldn't have to fight me if he'd keep away from Reaper Tech. Cerberus as an ally would have made things easier. As it is, we'll see Kai Lang again. I'd count on it. I'll talk to you later, Shepard. Anything else? Perhaps we can talk later. All right, cool. Are you ever gonna serve any drinks? Didn't I fire you? Yeah. All right, need to go to my cabin because lots of people want to talk to me. Dick Shepard's very popular right now. All right, let's look at this real fast. Woo, look at that renegade, yeah. All right, invite trainer. Now, <clears throat> if you're playing FemShep, this is a point where you could romance a uh, trainer. And in my opinion, for how short the romance is with Samantha Trainer, it is a really good romance for how short it is. Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? Your cabin is gorgeous. Uh, you've I've been here before. Smaller than this. Well, Commander, ready to play? Yeah, I really like Trainer in general. I picked up a chessboard on the Citadel. GUI interface, not nearly as nice as real pieces, but this takes up less space. And I recall you delivered something that closely resembled a challenge. So, interesting. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> the most exciting thing you can think of is playing chess. Well, if you're not up for the challenge. Hey, now. Try me. Ha! What are you 
you're sitting there on that tablet. Put the tablet down, play the game. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 square grid. Fair enough. You know what I mean. With the pawns <coughs> infantry. A good infantry line, like the Krogan, can take a charge like that. That reminds me of a joke. Uh-oh. What's the difference between Commander Shepard and a Krogan? Uh -oh. One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. And the other doesn't have a smart-ass comm officer to keep him in line. Ooh. All right. Ooh. That's even better than the number of testicles punchline. I'm glad you didn't run back to the lab, trainer. Thanks. So, rematch? Hell yes. Yeah, I would have loved to have had trainer in the other games. All right, let's bring up ours. Trainer, can you send Diana? She wanted an interview. All right, let's see if we red text our way out of this one. Ready for a chat, Commander? I'm ready. Commander, it's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. If something as small as a human terrorist organization can uh, Cerberus down, is not is small. All right, infiltrators are everywhere. Everybody run away and panic. Cerberus's strength in the coup attempt was their sleeper agents. <clears throat> if those agents had been exposed, a lot of lives might have been saved. We need constant vigilance. C-Sec and the troops can't do this alone. We've lost a major portion of our government. The most obvious human figure being the counselor. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? Uh, we're not going to we're going to do the Paragon just for content. Um, I might renegade trainer since I since I don't have the build up from Lear and two. <laughs> All right, can't lose faith. We're not going to do. We're not going to end the interview early. Leaders will rise. You can't lose hope. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. All right. Now a question from... We're going interview. Yep. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus ties. Indeed I did. I kicked the collector's ass that, with Commander. them. This is Diana Allers for Battle Space. Good night and stay strong. Be careful, Commander. You keep feeding me like this and I'll follow you home. Oh, okay. This is Dick Shepard, and I think I remember doing this, and it didn't do anything with. Oh, hmm. Do I want to take her on? Nah. I think we're just fine in front of the camera. Oh, did you think? Uh, of course you did. <laughs> uh, I better get out of here before I send another wrong signal. See ya, Commander. All right. Anybody else? Oh, yep. Got to invite James up. James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. On my way. Hey, man. How's it going? Good, James. You? Good. Good. Wow. She's nice to see walking away, though. This is what I can look forward to when I yeah, I can get behind that. Literally, actually. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day, when I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. Hey now, careful. You just come up here to make fun of your commander? Sorry, Shepard. I guess, maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. All right, shoot. Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for Probably you? Probably puked. Did you think about it before accepting? Yeah, it's no-brainer. I'm a soldier, big guy. And I wanted to be the best damn soldier I could be. It doesn't get better than N7. So I hear. You get the best training, best equipment. Best oh, jinx, I was going to say that. <laughs> and they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. 
Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. Hell, I'd have kicked my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they I need to watch that little anime movie. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I've got it on my server. I just need to watch it. I don't know if I want that responsibility. All right. We already know what happened, but just for the dialogue. You mentioned that before. What went wrong? What didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings. Then the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike. But before we could, we were betrayed. Of course you were. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the collectors. Now, how did that happen? No choice. I killed him and destroyed the collector ship. They got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one. You know, that kind of goes against the it's Mass Effect 2 story. Because right. back then, Cerberus wasn't working for the collectors. Unless they were indoctrinated while working for Cerberus. Uh, da, 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 da. Soldiers are expendable. Yep. As a leader, you've got a job to do. Keeping everyone alive, isn't it? If you're afraid to send your troops into a do-or-die situation, you'll never succeed. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yeah. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There's not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed. Yeah, I'm gonna have to watch that little movie to see more details on that. So you think I should accept? Yeah, it's up to you, dude. Only you can make that decision, James. But I think you already know the answer. I'm glad you think so. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course. Nah, I suppose not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here, it's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. I'll take your word for it. Thanks again, hmm. Trevor. Anytime. Dick Shepard, stop inviting people to the bed. Ooh, Kama Sutra for biotics. All right, I could dig that. All right, let's get back and do some scanning in the galaxy. Now, there we got a lot of stuff we need to scan, actually. All right, here we go. Admiral Anderson is available in the war room on VidCom. Eh, no big deal. All right, so... Refugees, that's 100%. All right, so we got things over there. We've got the local cluster. Hmm. All right, what? Attack on Kamala? All right, well, let's go look at that. All right, that's all 100%. Where's, there we go. Attack on Kamala. Uh, we got something over there right there oh that was nice one scan is all it took all right down excellent um what's oh i like victory sweet got batarian fleet Awesome. All right, what's next? Colas. There we go. One probe turn the tide. I wish we could still probe Uranus. That'd be a cool little Easter egg to keep in there. All right, we got everything in here. What's this? Caver station. All right, no idea what that is. All right, so we got everything there. All right, so let's go to the next place. Okay, local cluster. All right, so. 
look here. That's 100%. Okay, so we don't... All right. Where is... See, I've tried to scan right at Earth. So nothing there on Luna. Can't really scan this. Escape in evade mode activated. Reapers alerted. Evacuate system. IFF compromised. Full retreat necessary. Reapers, retreat from the system. Uh, we're, 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 Edie, we're fine. Everything's fine. I'm leaving now. It's fine. Yeah, yep, I know. Evasion successful. There we go. All right. So what is missing there? I don't understand. All right. So investigate the Asari colony. No. Those are scientists. No, we're not doing that yet. Okay. Oh, hello there. <clears throat> oh, was something on Saturn that I didn't see? So which one has it? Mastodon or Sparta? Is there anything in here? Oh, you just you saw the rings. Ah, I gotcha. Fair enough. All right, something in Sparta. I found something. All right, cool. All right, we have here. Excellent. Thresher Maw Nest. Very good. See if we can find the next one. All right, so that's still fine. Oh, hello. All right, let me get some gas first. It being crest, that's a hundred. Let's get some gas. All right, back out here. Should I be expanse? There we go. All right, and Yangtze. Scan here first. Nothing. Thing there. Nope. What is over here to scan? So there's nothing here. So does that mean you go down here? Ah, there it is. All right. Let's see what we got. Oh, that was easy. Nephron. Remember, we landed on that planet in Mass Effect 1. Alright, Cerberus data. Very good. Alright, let's get back up here. more gas again. I swear I spent so much money in gas in this game. Alright, so... See, I'm not sure which one of these has something I can actually scan. Alright, this is speak to the Quarians. 
It's a dealership. Alright, so let's go see if there's anything to scan here, just to be safe. Actually, wait. Journal. Uh, Selean Nebula. Uh, we're from Dakuna. I don't know where Dakuna is at. Nimbus Cluster, Hades Nexus. Nimbus Cluster, Hades Nexus. Nothing there. Where is Hades Nexus? There it is. Is it in here? Okay, that's not what I want to do. You remember barely checking the system? Yeah, I'm kind of a completionist on some of these things. My OCD gets the better of me. Hello there. It does affect your uh, war asset scores. All right, that makes that 100. What's the whole system at? It's 50, so we got something else in here. All right, let's start right there. All right, so nothing there. Let's go to this one, to Sheol. Ah, there we go. Ah, get over there. Guy, I think there was a hammerhead mission on this one. Oh, you're completionist in every game? <laughs> Saw something say the Athean, ne Athean Nebula. So let's go hit that real fast. Uh, was that right here? That's a being Crest, Selean. Yep, Athena Nebula. You enjoy collections? A lot of people do. Will I be land on Thessia yet? Nope. All right. Something. Hey, all right. What you got? All right, Dr. Jalice. I don't know who that is. Sorry, science team. All right, that's all for there. That's 32%. Whoa. Got a long way to go here. Signal confirmed. Oh, that was easy. Uh, sorry, engineers. Okay, 100% there. Very good. Right, let's come up here. I enjoy having stuff to do to farm XP between missions. Yeah, I like that. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything in this system. Uh, come 
Come on, get in there. Okay, is it in here? Of course it's not. Because why would it be in this one? It's always going to be in the furthest one away. Alright. Oh, almost missed it. Alright. Better be in here. I found something. Oh, there it is. Up oh, there we go. Especially games where they open the entire world at the start, like the recent AC games. Yeah, they started doing that with the uh, Unity, with Assassin's Creed Unity, and that was a lot of fun. All right, let's see if I can see if I run out of gas before I get there. Oh, just barely. Selene Nebula. I do not remember if anything's in there. Alright, let me go look at that just so I know what I need to get. Yeah, it is Selene Nebula. Okay, so Selene, there is something in here. Where is Dakuna at? And the Nimbus Cluster. Alright. Alright, so we have everything in here. Uh, doesn't appear to be anything there. Let's go up here. You ran out of fuel before? Yeah, I've run out of fuel before. There's really not much in the way of penalties for running out of fuel. Sure. You know, I'll just stick you back to the nearest, you know, right by the mass relay. Mass Effect 2 it actually had a little bit of a penalty for it. That's 100%. Very good. Hey, there's Dakuna. Perfect. Um, why can't I do anything here? I'm on freaking Dakuna. Should be able to scan this. See what's over here in Teolia. I found something. All right. So I guess that Dakuna one hasn't unlocked yet. All right. Yeah, I, I think it just hasn't. It it just hasn't. Even even though the quest is there, it's not unlocked. Dakuna Matata. Very nice. I like that. What a wonderful phrase. Takuna Matata. Ain't no passing craze. Alright. I think that brings us 100% for now. That percentage will lower later. And we do have the Nimbus Cluster, I think was one of the ones it told me to go to. Whoa, hello. 66%, let's see what that is. Or ain't no alien race. <laughs> Very nice. All right, so which one is this in? this one nope 
Not in that one. See if we got something in here. Lots of plants here. Flag this system as one with potential intel assets. Ah, very good. Signal confirmed. Well, that answered that one. And we go. All this intelligence archives. Very good. And that should put. Yep, we're at one hundred percent for now. It will probably, again, like the other one, will lower later. All right, and let's see here. Nimbus cluster, Nimbus cluster, Nimbus cluster. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. Where is the Nimbus cluster? Is it one of these? Yep, this one. All right. We're going to just scan. We're not going to do the Asari colony just yet. I found something. Wow, that was fast. Reaper weapon, thank you. And a shit ton of gas, that's fine. All right. Anything in here? A little binary system, it looks like. Library of Asha. Very good. All right, I'm gonna scan Lessus and everywhere else. I am not landing anywhere in here just yet. All right, nothing in there, that's fine. Go check Kalini. Anything in here? I found something. All right, we got something in here. Okay, just gas. It looks like. All right. All right. Let's go and pick up the gas over here. Oof, lots of gas. I know I'm going to more than max out my fuel, but I'd rather have my percentages at 100. And gas is cheap. All right. Okay, I think we're in a good spot here. Let's go ahead and go to the dealer real fast since I've got a few things. All right, Alpha Draconis. Yes, enter right now. All right, available to exchange. Skip skim, ship schematics. We got credits, guess Spitfire, nah. the Javelin, Pulse Rifle, Arc Pistol. There's really nothing in here. Battle suit, heavy assault armor. Ooh, I'll take that. That could be fun. Thresher Wild Nest Spores. You know what? Just give me credits. It's all good. 
no contracts available. That's fine. And mass relay. All right. What else are we missing here? We did Selene Nebula. We tried to do that one. We did that one. Did that one. Did that one. Hades Nexus did that. Valhallen Threshold. Okay. Valhallen Threshold. Okay. So let's go there. At least in space it's cheap. Cheaper it is in you know, real life, that's for sure. All right, Valhallen Threshold. Where was that at? Okay. Yeah, way cheaper. Yeah, exactly. Valhallen Threshold. Valhallen Threshold. Is it up here? Nope, nope. There it is. Okay, oh, no, 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 no. I want gas. Ah, let's go over to the pass. Signal confirmed. All right. Garvug, yep. All right, data drives. So is there gonna be two things here? Commander, Liara suggests we keep an eye out here for anything that can assist with the Crucible. Yeah, I'm working on it. Uh, and right there. Very good. Okay, give me the fuel pods. Thank you. And right here. Low high, is that what it was? All right, ESO converter, very good. All right. So I've got all of the Helen threshold. All right, so where do, am I gonna wanna go first? I don't wanna talk to the quarries just yet. So I think hmm, I'm going to do this one tomorrow. So I'm actually going to, I'm just going to go ahead and get out there and then I'm going to end the stream uh, because I've been gone for almost three hours. So it's about three hours kind of where I like to stick my uh, stream times, you know, give or take, you know, three hours, give or take a little bit, just so um, that, that just kind of gives me a good spot and gives me enough time to edit and everything. But before I do that, I need to go down to the crew deck and look at my little mods I got. Per your orders, I have the latest reports on the council, Doctor. Oh. Their security is in disarray, but it would still be weeks before we could attempt to position any agents in their personal staff. And it's far too risky after Odina's coup. Postpone those deployments. At once. Good call. Feel free to look around. Uh, I am. Thank you. All right. Intact Trooper weapon. Uh, ammo capacity or damage? I'm going to go with ammo because damage hasn't really been an issue thus far. Power damage or health bonus? Power damage. Definitely. Greetings, Commander. All right. Very good. All right. 
Let's go. Let's go look at shuttle base. See if that uh that big mech showed up now. Ah, look at that big boy. Very nice indeed. Can I do anything with it? Can I get in it? Oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> Is he gonna let me in the mech? Oh, it's not gonna let me in. No. I want to get in. Oh, that's such a shame. That would have been so freaking cool to be able to get in the mech. Good dog. Good, yes, good dog. Much better, Shepard. That that would have been so awesome if I would have been able to get in the mech and walk around uh, the cargo bay. Maybe even shoot things up a little bit. All right, so this is a good this is a good spot for me to uh, go ahead and call it for tonight. Um, either tomorrow or Tuesday, I will be back out and we'll go ahead and go. Unfortunately, save that tool bag, Jacob, uh, from where he's at, and then I might go ahead and have time to do the Ardak Yachi place, and then maybe we'll be able to start the Asari. Uh, not the sorry the uh, the quarrying quest line. I really hope so because I would love to get Tally back again. But until then, thank you very much for watching. I'll get this video edited on YouTube probably tomorrow. Um, hopefully, everybody has a great night. I will see y'all tomorrow or Tuesday. Thank you very much and goodbye.